When it comes to steel penetration, does the 6.5 Grendel have enough gas in the tank to compete with the 6.5 Creedmoor? I'm honestly not sure, so let's go ahead and figure it out in today's video. On the right, we got the short but stout 6.5 Grendel. And on the left, we have another 6.5 Brethren, the infamous 6.5 Creedmoor. As you can see, when it comes to overall length, the 6.5 Creedmoor definitely has the Grendel beat, which means that it has a lot more case capacity for extra powder, meaning that it has a lot more velocity. But each of these are loaded with the exact same 120 grain ELD bullet. So how's this bullet going to do in each of these different calibers? Let's find out. To do this, I'll be shooting at mild steel plates ranging from quarter inch all the way up to one inch. Whichever one penetrates the deepest will be crowned the winner. I will virtually be using the same exact rifle other than the platforms being different because they both have a 20 inch stainless ballistic advantage barrel one and a twist. Although my tests aren't going to win a scientific award or anything, I do want to make them as fair as possible. So I came up with a brand new device and I think you guys are going to like it. Here it is. This is the brand new testing device. Each one of these is a different thickness of steel and as long as the steel is wide enough to touch both of these, it should be in the exact same spot every single time. As you can see, this piece of steel is going to be set at the exact same angle every time. So I really appreciate everybody that commented asking me to do something like this. Speaking of comments though, let me know what you think we should name this testing device. Personally, I was thinking something along the lines of hair comb, but not for any specific reason. I think it's time to start with the quarter inch plate. In my mind, I don't think that there's any way that the 6.5 Grendel is going to penetrate nearly as deep as the 6.5 Creedmoor, but anything could happen and the test should still be interesting regardless. <laughs> Nice clean hole as expected. How about we give the 6.5 Creedmoor a shot though? Looks like we got another hole as expected. Surprisingly though, it's not quite as clean as the 6.5 Grendel. Quarter inch? Eh, I think we expected them to go through that. Now let's step it up a bit. And I think this 3 8 inch plate will do rather nicely. Sorry guys, I guess I still need to grind down some of these edges because the 3 8 inch plate would not fit exactly in that slot. So I had to move it back to the half inch plate. Still though, it should be pretty solid. So let's see if a 3 8 inch plate will give either of these cartridges a run for their money. <laughs> Whew. Looks like we might be ending this testing early because that 6.5 Grendel definitely did not penetrate that 3 8 inch plate. I guess it looks like relatively good performance though. I was really thinking that that 6.5 Grendel had a chance of going through the 3 8 inch plate. So I'm hoping that the 6.5 Creedmoor does and if it doesn't, I don't know what the deal is. After looking through my scope, it wasn't looking too promising, but let's go ahead and check it out. Well guys, I was trying to warn you, it didn't even penetrate a 3 8 inch plate. If I'm being completely honest, it doesn't even look like it penetrated that much deeper than the 6.5 Grendel. I've been wrong before, and it looks like I'm wrong again. I really thought that the testing would go a lot further than this, but neither one of these cartridges penetrated the 3 8 inch plate, so let's see which one went deeper. Let's go back to the bench. Guys, I cannot believe how close this is. Now let's go back outside, because it's time to grind with a flap disc. Now let's measure each to see how close it truly was. I know the calipers aren't necessarily the most scientific measuring device out there, but it's what I have to work with right now, and it should give us a pretty accurate representation. And now on to the measuring. I'll do the 6.5 Grendel first. Looks like we got 0 .170 inches. That's definitely not a ton of penetration, but let's see how much better or worse the 6.5 Creedmoor did. Looks like we got 0.281 inches. That's over a hundred thousandths more than the Grendel, which is pretty good. But it's still really surprising though, because if you can remember from one of my previous videos, the 140 grain hollow point fired out of the 6.5 Creedmoor was a different story altogether. Part of that was definitely the 26 inch barrel that was used instead of the 20 inch that was used today. But I'm starting to think more and more that the ELDs either use a really soft jacket or a really soft lead composition. Let me know if you know anything about this in the comment section down below. Either way, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and remember don't let ballistics drive you bananas.